For the bicycle pavilion you will design, you can create a project in Revit Architecture using a default template, one of the files provided, or a template of your own. Once my Revit project is created, I start by adding the required levels in the project. I do this while in an elevation view using the Levels tool. Since I have a predetermined site for the bicycle pavilion, I start by creating a site boundary using the Property Line tool. For your design, you should think about the space you have in your community. You may have more space to work with, as well as a different climate. Next, I added foundation walls and footings on the site level. Notice that I can view the walls I have placed at any time in a 3D view. It is a good idea to do this frequently to check that the placement and height are being created as required. Now it's time to add the exterior walls of the building to the main floor. Notice that I have set the site level as an underlay for the main floor view so that I can reference the foundation walls as I add to the main floor. While designing the interior space, there are several things you want to take into consideration. Think about what types of things the interior space will need to accommodate. This will determine what the interior space is going to be like. In this case, I want spaces such as offices, restrooms, and maintenance. When you create your model, think about how you can move things around. You don't have to use a basic box. Create an imaginative design. 